Welcome Aries. This is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be the next 48 hours. What's going on? What you can expect? What's coming forward for you in the next 48 hours, Aries? Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have the March playlist all set up for you. So if this doesn't resonate, take a look at your playlist and um, you'll get more clarity on your situation. Okay? So what we have for you is the um, High Priestess, the Queen of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, whoa, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? At the bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups so i feel like if you're open to love i feel like you will be receiving an invitation a love offer um some kind of gift of love romance something that you may not be expecting at the moment but i feel like this is an offer that is you know coming out of the blue okay i feel like you're going to receive some kind of communication some kind of text to invite you on this love excursion okay <laughs> and that's what i'm getting aries okay so let's take a look we have the high priestess and the queen of swords so i feel like you are actively looking for answers i feel like there's some things that you're trying to gain more understanding on but you're using your intuition very wisely i feel like your intuition is very open and very capable of receiving the information that you need to have more clarity in your situation because i feel like you know this activation of your intuitive side is bringing some kind of good fortune a lot of change is happening for you at this moment i feel like something is changing and it's like creating this new version of yourself it's like changing your thinking changing your beliefs and it is giving you the ability to increase your abundance, your wealth, your good health, you know, your happiness. I feel like there's a lot of happiness and wealth that you are able to pursue at, at this moment, at this present time. Okay, let's take, let's get more information for Aries. Give me more messages for Aries. What's going on? What's going on for Aries the next 48 hours? A new start. A new beginning. Strength. Wow. The Ten of Swords. Okay. At the bottom we have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like in the past you may have been feeling kind of left out. Kind of withdrawn. Kind of um, unappreciated or unwanted okay i feel like this is a fresh start for you this is something that is you know giving you the ability to love yourself unconditionally to have this strength and courage to go on this new journey that you're on this new path this new destiny okay and i feel like you know the old you is gone i feel like you are starting brand new there's some kind of, maybe you are becoming more spiritual. You're becoming more grounded. You're making active changes in your life. I feel like it has put an end to the old you. And this brand new Aries is emerging. Okay? And I feel like you're emerging with a lot of change that's leading to your abundance. Okay, this is beautiful energy. Now, we have three tens here. Okay, so I feel like ten is going to be very significant. Now, if you don't know the angel numbers, ten, ten, I feel like you should look those up. Get the meaning of the angel numbers, ten, ten. Okay, because I feel like it's very significant for you. It's something that um, you may see tens 
a lot at this moment okay so yeah i want to let you know that information okay let's take a look at more information for aries but i feel like you are definitely in your power at this moment aries if you're you know looking to pursue more income for your job for your career for some kind of promotion I, I feel like you are actively in pursuit of that and i feel like you're very you're very capable and able i feel like you are just going to get it you're not letting no be a stopping point for you you're taking that no and you're turning it into a yes okay um, so I feel like you're very persistent at this moment. You're fearless with this strength card here and with this full. Okay. Okay. We have the seven of cups. So I feel like a lot of opportunities are opening up for you. I feel like you're going to get a lot of word, a lot of communication about these new opportunities that are being open to you. Um, a lot of communication is coming in for that. So if you've been waiting for some, some communication, some kind of answer to an opportunity that you are pursuing, I feel like that information is going to be coming into you uh, because you do have the six of swords at the bottom. So I feel like this information is pushing you into a more relaxing more calm state of mind i feel like it's moving you into this new reality this new beginning this new journey that you're going on okay uh so let's get some clarity for aries what does aries need to know the next 48 hours give me more of a message spirit give me more messages for aries the next 48 hours Okay, we have the death card. So you're actively going through a transformation. You're, you're transforming into this new being, but you are becoming more appealing, more attractive, more, you know, open to being, uh, being loved, pursuing love. Okay, so I feel like if you're open to love, I feel like love is definitely coming in for you. Okay, and I feel like, you know, what has been hidden is going to come to light. So I feel like there's some kind of answers, some kind of questions that you have that have been kind of nagging you at the moment. But I feel like what is hidden is going to come to light. Okay, those are the words that I'm getting. And I'm, I'm getting that you're actively moving into this more independent more abundant time so i feel like you are moving into this more uh, you're creating more abundance you're creating the ability to have more abundant experiences okay so i feel like you know look at all these major arcanas this is a very strong message for you you know what this, this transformation is leading to love. This love is leading to things coming out of the darkness. Okay? Something that is hidden being revealed. Okay? So it's very beautiful energy. Okay. Let's take a look. What does Aries need to know at this moment? Okay. Perseverance. Perseverance wanted to fall out right away. So I feel like the universe is letting you know not to give up. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And I feel like you have the ability to create and manifest, you know, greatness at this moment. At the bottom, we have death. So I feel like you are actively transforming. You're changing. There's a lot of changes that are happening for you at the moment. And I feel like these changes are going to lead you into a much better place. Okay. Um, 
endings are merely new beginnings. Okay, so let's take a look at the monology. Let's get a card for the monology, please. What's going on with Aries? Your dreams need a practical plan. So I think the universe is letting you know to plan out and you know look at your situation from different points of view you also have bring love into the situation so you definitely have love that's coming forward for you you know you have this ability you know if you're open love is coming okay let's take a look at the moonology manifestation cards a card for aries please Okay, we have assessed the situation. So I think Spirit is letting you know to be aware, to gain more information about what this is that you're pursuing. Reflect on your priorities, set your priorities straight, make sure your priorities are clear and you have a full understanding of them. Okay, let's get a card from the universe. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. You definitely have love coming in for you, okay? Uh, when I accept love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided into the light. Okay, so put God first, put your higher power first, you know, um, set your priorities straight. Okay, I feel like that's going to be very important for you. And we're going to take a look at a love oracle, see what's going on with Aries. Okay, we have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. Um, there's, there's some kind of block in this love situation, but I feel like love is here. But there, and I feel like, you know, this is saying that there's something that you are more... Um, you're looking at another situation. You may not be as open to love as what you think, but love is here, okay? But I feel like there's other things that are taking priority over a love situation. But you do have someone coming forward, wanting an invitation, wanting to spend time with you. You know, it may be a new friend, a new love, you know, some kind of invitation coming forward. Okay, so this is what I have for you, Aries. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have your March readings all up, so you can take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus if you're open to love. And until your next reading, Aries, many blessings to you. Love and light.